Okay, this is hunting for purple streetlights in Kansas City, video 234. I am located, it should actually kind of be 233, but I, I accidentally skipped 231. But I didn't want to go back after already posting it, so I just decided that this is video 234. So, because uh, 233 is already numbered, and I think 233 and 232 are pretty important, so I'm not going to change them. Interestingly, I got a bunch of views though on 233, but like hardly any on my exhibit video when I misnumbered it. So I'm not really surprised guys, but whatever. And hardly anybody looked at the exhibit video. Uh, you should definitely look at 233 exhibit A, by the way, which is uh, of some street lights that are actually over in Gardner where they have a pattern on it that's rather interesting, guys. Um, that we, I've seen develop and was predictable. Okay, I'm right here at the Walmart at Route 58, right by I-49. And I actually want to go revisit some purple street lights and check the patterns and see how they have changed in about, I don't know, I want to say 10 or 12 days. So I'm going to actually check these out here that are at South Sunset. Um, South Sunset in Cindy Lane in Bristol right here. Um, I'm going to look at the LED patterns and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to number the exhibit video 234 exhibit A when I get there. So I'm going to use this camera so I can zoom in on the LED panels. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you. Okay. I have a bunch of LED patterns here that I've, I've collected. And I can tell you right now, it is rather interesting because I've seen some recurrences of patterns. Now, I have not like gone through all the befores and afters, but I want to show you at least something that I've looked at recently, since I'm already looking at this. Okay, at Woodland, I collected some of the streetlight panels from video 232 exhibit A, or no, I'm sorry, exhibit B, I think, actually. Um, let's see, I should have numbered it. Let's see, I want to find the right one here. Well, actually, I could... About half of them are the right one, I guess, when I think about it. Let's see. Um, this is probably not it, but I'm just going to click on one of these and see. Okay, so actually, though, maybe it is. Yeah, so you see how it's blue when I streaked it? I moved the, I moved the camera when I looked at the pattern, and you can see that it's in a line, guys. Right? Well, this recurs. It reoccurs numerous times in numerous streetlights on Woodland. And I've also seen, I think it, I think I've seen it in other places as well. Let's see if I can show you another good example. Actually, the last one I looked at, I think was one, which was South three, I think. Yeah. See how there's a line here again, and there's a line there. If you look at it, when I streaked it, when I moved it, you can see the streaking, like the swaying pattern. Basically, this is fluorescence on the camera that's left over after the LED panels moved out of that field of view or just out of that point, right? And it leaves behind a streak because of the ultraviolet light. It's fluorescing, right? Okay, that's one example. And then like multiple of these though are the same. So let's see, I'm just gonna pick this one real quick. Uh, actually, I don't think this is an example of one though. Let's see. How about, actually that's not one, but this one's kind of interesting though. If, I, if it's the one I think it is. Okay, well this isn't that one, I'm sorry guys. Um, but anyway, you can go through the videos and you can see what I'm saying. Um, I kind of wanted to show you another example here and I just don't see it right now, that's weird. Um, Some of them have not developed yet, but you can see it. Like this one might be one. Um, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure yet. Yeah, I think so. Because like it looks like somewhere like this. It looks like they purposely did it, guys. I don't know what to tell you, but they say it's a factory defect. I don't think it's a factory defect, guys. I think they purposely set these up. They knew that they were defective, and they put them in the pattern they put them in, guys. And they changed the pattern such that it doesn't even seem like it's compatible, guys, with, with it being accidental. So right here, you can see that they're at certain points, right? Let's see if this is the one of the ones when I streak it. Oh, man. Okay, that one doesn't have very many right now. Oh, I already looked at this one. 
There are numerous ones. There's like four of them at least, guys, and I don't know why you can't find them right now. But these are each street light poles, and there are two arms in the street light poles. Some of them have up to three LED panels on them, so it's... Okay, so this is an example of one. I don't know if I just showed you this one or not, but there are like, I think, four examples of this where you can look at how it's streaked, and you can see that they're in a line, and they're similar to the other ones, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna go and look at some of the, some of the street lights, street light panels, so I can get more panels, and um, so I can get updated panels. But the zigzag pattern is another one that's seen, but if you think about it, I haven't shown you a lot of examples. Oh, it's so annoying, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know why. It's gotta be like this. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna go and we're gonna look at some of the street lights. And I'm gonna look at it on my other camera. So you're gonna wanna look at exhibit, sorry, 234 exhibit A for this next one. So that would be hunting for purple street lights in Kansas City, video 234 exhibit A. And for some reason, exhibit videos don't get seen very well. Like, I'll see a bunch of views on my other ones, but like a fraction of that many for the exhibit video. And the exhibit videos are shorter than those videos, guys. Yeah, so I can pretty much tell you what I think about it. I think that most of the views are fucking fake, guys. They're fake fucking views. And AI assigns those views. But if it's an, or exhibit videos, are not advantaged it's very disadvantaged to put exhibit in your fucking video and you should really wonder why guys because it sounds like something's being proven right <clears throat> why guys why i can tell you what i fucking think guys i think that there's a problem people have overstepped on their boundaries they've overstepped their boundaries for what they're allowed to fucking do and they're doing it unofficially anyway they're not even going to tell you that they're the government or uh the people in power they'll just do little covert kinds of things um to make sure that you don't get views and people don't get to see what the truth is guys and they'll let the news cast though they'll let those things roll though and them interview and question people about it like with the energy company and, and tell you that it's a factory defect but if you want to say that the purple street lights are not a factory defect and that they're on purpose or that they're a factory defect that is on purpose that they still put up they're gonna, they're gonna limit how many views you get somehow. It's absolutely crap, guys. If you look at the other videos, though, there are other videos where they're gonna say that have a conspiracy hypothesis or theory, but if it doesn't sound like, if it doesn't make sense, they'll let you watch that one. They're not gonna let you watch the ones like mine where I keep giving you data. They're not gonna let you find it very well. And that's sick, guys. That's absolutely disgusting. I wanna show people where the fucking street lights are and now I'm going through the panels to look at the LED patterns, guys. And as it is, I don't see how a zigzag pattern makes a lot of sense, guys. So the other, what I just showed you, even though it was kind of hard to present that for you guys right now, um, is that they tend to have like lines of LEDs that are blue or start to turn purple, right? So if you want to say, well, it's a manufactured defect, Okay, so does the machine, is there like a machine that puts an LED in on each row and then goes to the next row and puts an LED in? And like they, they're loaded like from a, like a, I don't know, like a container full of LEDs. Is that how it works? Because if that's how it works, ask yourself why the hell there's a zigzag though? Like what does that mean? It skips one and then it puts one in and then it skips one and it puts one in? Is that the one that makes sense, guys? Because if that's the one that makes sense, uh, I don't know, guys. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Where does the other LED come from? In the middle. Another one? So then that means they had two of them in a row that had defective LEDs, so it made a line, right? So each row was that way. Or do they just do each row individually, guys? If they do each row individually, then explain to me why we have... They're both even, but they're offset by one every other. So it's as if somebody just went, um, like, just did evens on the whole um, sub-panel of 10. I don't know how you explain it, guys, but if you want to even tell me that there are 10 different LED loading things, 
then they're gonna have to tell me that they put every other of them, five of them, every other evens or odds, they decide to put the defective LEDs in there or the ones that turn purple faster. You're gonna either have to say that. Yeah, if you if you, that's what you'd have to say, right? Basically. And for the other ones, they just put them in line with each other. So they've had two of them that were in line with each other that put in from that batch. Yeah, you, it doesn't matter, guys. Okay, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm willing to listen, but I don't think it makes a lot of sense. I think they basically wanted them that way. They had to know which ones were which, and that's why they put them in that pattern. They might have even made some where they're adjacent to each other, so it looks like it's spreading, guys but it's not really spreading. So why would they do that, guys, if it's a factory defect? Let me tell you what I think it is. They're, it's deception, guys, and they set them up on purpose. That's what I think fucking happened, okay? All right, sorry about the um, going to the wrong place. Here. All right, but this will actually get me there. I assume I'm going east. Think carefully about what I said. Think carefully about it. I don't know how, to, how else to tell you this, but there's a real fucking problem, guys. They are they are limiting our ability to tell each other about things that people need to hear about. Like things that are set up to kill people. Okay, it's not funny. It isn't fucking funny, guys. It's not at all funny. I've already seen what I've seen. And, he, and after talking about it enough, it changed too on YouTube. Where the LED patterns that were zigzags were disadvantaged. Like, they would either they'd be out of focus or something. I even, the one that you would find back then on my YouTube was actually one that um, I picked the thumbnail for. Otherwise, they wouldn't pick the thumbnail for it. Okay, I need to go in a circle here. I guess I was going west instead of east. All right, so you're going to stop. All right, that's cool. There you go. That was probably unexpected for them. I don't know why they can't just make a grid pattern, guys. I don't like it. I don't know how to, I don't know if you know what it, do you know what it feels like? Like a lot of people are just used, like some people are just used to maybe just lying or not saying stuff to people anyway, because they just, they were, um, I don't know, like punished indirectly or somehow by it. So they're okay with not saying anything. In fact, they're afraid to say something. You know, maybe some of the people are upper class or just doing really well in their career learn that way and they're doing really well in their career because they don't say stuff or they don't do things the right way. And they're okay with that because that's normal for them. Okay, well, to start with, that's it's, if there's a problem. If you, if you don't see how that's a problem, I'm sorry, guys. If you can understand the concept of evolution, you should also understand the concept of uh, entropy and things falling apart too, guys. And how a certain, certain processes are biased that, uh, and people are selected for that are doing things the wrong way, then you're helping a population of people who do the, helping a population of people who do the things the wrong way to do what, to do better and survive better, right? And to make more money. And then people are turning people against each other. If you have the, if you have the kind of mind that can understand evolution, it's not, it's not necessarily just the same thing as evolution, okay? But if you can understand at that concept level, then you should understand why it's bad to have a system where they don't, justice isn't implemented anymore. They obstruct justice by censoring. And only a few people know about the truth and have power. Whereas everybody else just does what they're supposed to do or even able to do, but have to do things outside of the guidelines that were normal just because of a pandemic. And you should also understand that once people are guilty for something, that they're not going to want to give people their freedom of speech back if it's going to incriminate them or it's going to reveal what they've done, right? So think about it. Think about what that is. That's a choke. It's like choking our justice system, right? It chokes our ability to do anything, our freedoms of speech, our ability to keep our rights like we were supposed to in our country. That's what it does. It should be hard to figure out, guys. It really shouldn't be hard to figure out. And it's it's a problem. If you look up purple street lights, you're gonna find a bunch of the videos that you'll find. 
Um, I encourage you to do it with a different account on someone else's account to find it who you don't know as well or something like that. Or like on a new computer where you don't, where you're not trying to use an account, where you're not even using an account, you're not even logged in. I encourage you to do it if you ever have the opportunity and see, you see for yourself. They care a lot about that. Do they care as much about like pandemic misinformation or disinformation or just conspiracy minded stuff about the pandemic? I think they care less about that, excuse me, than they do about the purple streetlights. And I think there's a good damn reason for it. It's because they set up the purple streetlights for a chemical attack, guys. For visibility from the air for things to strike in those points. And for the wind to carry that chemical, those toxins across our evacuation routes so people can't leave and traffic gets stalled. Now you might have seen like images of, uh, you know, like Gaza, what happened in Israel. And like, well, with all the traffic stalled on the sides of the road. Well, imagine, imagine a chemical attack, guys, where cars just jam the road all over the fucking place, guys. Imagine that. So they changed these these purple street lights. I'm not even at all surprised about it. I visited this area multiple times. I am kind of curious what they use. These are still damn bright, guys. But let's see, how many LEDs are on these things? Okay, so these are not the same ones. These are the ones that they replace them with, which are the ones, groups of 15. So actually though, they still do have a lot of them here. Dang, it's like 90 of them actually. Why they have so many of those things, I don't know, guys. They have threes. Three times, three times five. That's 45. On each side, they have a total of six times 15, which is 90. Or wait. Oh, I think I said, so did I say, did I say that wrong the first time? 90, yeah, no, that's right. And they had 80 before. So you even have more LEDs now, I guess. So in that respect, you know, you can't really say that they didn't uh, put a lot of LEDs here. But that's really weird. But they did change the purple street lights out. So now, I guess we never had an exhibit A here. They changed these street lights. These are no longer purple street lights. Okay. So that we know now. And you might say, well, they're expendable, Sean. Oh, well, actually, if they were expendable, they would have stopped doing this stuff a long time ago, guys. This was for uh, this is for wind, what they had here. They could have blown across Madison Avenue. And I'm not using this example to decide that, guys. I'm, looking, I'm using the other examples that I've seen to decide that that was why. Okay, I don't know for sure, but I would just say this. I keep seeing it. You can just keep looking. Look at a map of the purple streetlights that I've shown you in previous videos, guys. And just look at how often there's an open area and look at where the evacuation routes are. They're busted, guys. They're busted, but they're changing some of these lights out. <clears throat> if you don't think they do it on purpose, you're wrong. You are absolutely wrong about that. They do it on purpose. You would have to look at my videos and that takes a lot of time. I have not put it all together yet to present it because I wanted to collect data fast. Like I wanted to keep collecting it. But I've reached a point now where I want to go through some of the data, uh, especially the LED panels. And it, that takes time, guys. It takes time to do that. And I get these people commenting on videos. I even had somebody downvote a video they first commented on um, 233, like hunting for purple streetlights in Kansas City, video 233, and they told me to stop doing, um, to stop spreading misinformation and disinformation. Then I referred them to my exhibit video where they can look at the freaking LED panel and see that it has a zigzag pattern on it, and it's and the other one's forming one. And in fact, if they would have checked my other videos, they would even see that it was predictable where they would change. And then they downvoted that video and told me to stop spreading misinformation and disinformation. So then I replied back to their comment and I told them which frames they can go through even to look and see what they need to see. And what sec how many seconds in the video. On both adjacent poles, guys. And each pole has 
two panels on it. So that's a total of four sub panels where they have a zigzag or a forming zigzag structure, uh, like shape on them. Out of the, because there, there are ten LEDs per pole, per sub panel. I'm sorry. Each pole has twenty LEDs on it, and there are adjacent ones that are purple, and they have the same freaking zigzag pattern forming on them. It's it's an I don't I don't know how to put it, guys, but I would just say uh, I think they want to downvote the video. I think they turned the other purple street light off with two of them on it too, that they shut off after I already found those other ones for a reason because they don't want it. They didn't want it there, but they turned the street light back on without changing the freaking street light for some reason, which is also weird. was actually after I called the FBI about it again. And you know what I think about it? I think the FBI just tells them what to do. I think the fucking government just tells them what to do. They don't fucking want to investigate. They don't want to do a goddamn thing about it. And after that also, YouTube started showing thumbnails of those things. So they, they don't fucking... They don't want justice, guys. Justice is saying this. Justice is doing an investigation, proving what they're doing. And because of what they're doing, seeking justice, which means stopping them from fucking doing it again, and also looking at what else they're trying to do and stopping them. Because if they set that up, guys, if they set that up the way they set it up, they could be doing a lot of other things that we don't know about yet that are also set up to kill us. That's what they should be doing. They don't want to do that. Instead, they want to hide the information. They want to shut the street lights off. They want to censor people on YouTube. Fuck you. This is our fucking country and we're the populace. And you threatened us with those lights. What else have you fucking done? That's to kill us, guys. That is to kill us. I don't know if it's contingent on something, guys. You might say, well, they never did it. Well, I don't I don't care, guys. They already told they were all they, they already said certain things about the pandemic that they shouldn't have said. And the world seems to somehow agree on it. It's also in other countries, too. There are also problems, in my opinion, from what I've seen about the pandemic and about the RNA sequences and also about, in particular, about the mutations that took place in the pandemic. Yeah, they, they have a lot of explaining to do, guys. They have a lot of explaining to do. They don't have a right to just censor us. For all we know, they could have something set up to kill everybody, to depopulate. And they're not telling us, they're not letting us spread... Uh, information about it to warn other people they don't have that right and that's why they don't have that right guys that's exactly why they don't have the right to do it because they could kill us uh, they could steal from us they could give us fewer rights well I can tell you right now not being able to live is fewer route fewer rights right think about it Yeah, actually, this is one of the purple street lights. Um, I'm not going to stop here right now. I'm actually going to go get um, the ones that are a peculiar way. I want to see those again. This street light is off right here ahead of us. That's an off street light. Street light pull across the street, across the highway that's off that we just went past. There are a lot of street lights that are to the left in the parking lot, so I will admit that. There are plenty of other street lights though that are off. Off or need to be replaced. Some of them turn on transiently in the mercury vapor phase though. And then shut off. Some of them, I don't know if they ever turn on. Some of them were LED lights, but now they're on. At least one case I can think of off the top of my head. You might think nothing of it, but actually if somebody had like really bright lights, it's really easy to blind people. It's also harder to see other people on the sides of the road with guns.
easier for people to, to mobilize and go places without people seeing them. It makes the interstate cameras a little, little less useful, doesn't it? Why would they do that? Yeah, sure, they replaced one, but they can put more of them in other places, right? And they can keep it going. That should be kind of concerning, guys. Like, why do they do that? What's the purpose of that? Okay, so we're going to go actually over to the other location that has a wider panel and a blue LED panel like a really purple one first you can even see visibly now that this one is a defective light I don't know what it looks like on the camera but it's it's definitely more apparent that's one of the ones I really want to look at right here but just like I don't know I want to say maybe 10 days ago or so we showed that there were I showed you guys that there were purple IDs popping up on the thing when previously we zoomed in on it and it was just all white. At least in video 186 I did. I don't know if I zoomed in on it on video 187. I think I did, but um, I'll have to check. I know at least. I've seen it. Um, I probably did though because I came out here multiple times. So we'll see first if this other one that's actually basically at uh, 211th Street or Peculiar Way and County Road J has any emerging purple LEDs on it. The white one, not the one that's really purple. The other one I think is basically all purple LEDs. Basically, park on the side of the road here. I'll do it real quick. 
you'll see me this. So this is gonna be Hunting for Purple Street Lights in Kansas City, video 234, exhibit A. The closer the better, though, so I'm gonna park. I just don't want to park within 30 feet of that stop sign, so we should still be good, I think, right here. Okay. And I'll leave my headlights on. There we go. same pattern, a zigzag pattern, when I did that swaying motion. And you can check that. That's a video 230. Ooh. Actually, I can't remember the number of the video now, right now. You can check it. It's in video 221, exhibit A, but also I can't remember the later video where I did the swaying motion and saw it. Um, but it's the one that's at Mahaffey just south of I-35 by three street light poles. All right, so anyway, this is 3307, Hunting for Purple Street Lights in Kansas City, video 234. Um, our location was gonna be here, but it's not anymore because they don't have purple street lights there. So we are actually right, right here. And I just looked at this one. So now we're gonna go over and we're gonna look at these other subsequent ones to see how they've changed, especially the new one. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video. So exhibit B will be over by the, uh, where outer road is, but it's a dead end there anyway. But still, they have a purple street light there. All right, I'm gonna stop this video. Okay, so I couldn't see visually any purple LEDs there. Sub panel. 
the other ones were all of the kind that I've never seen turn purple after they switched out the purple street lights. That one appears to be in a zigzag pattern, like in the zigzag pattern, if you sweep across it, you can see wider ones. And it even reveals kind of a blue or purple kind of, uh, I'm trying to, I don't know how to explain it, streak on some of the LEDs. And it's in that pattern. So that's even better evidence that it is that way because, you know, the purple street lights that have that zigzag pattern look like that also. So it seems like they planted one there and it'll eventually turn purple in the position that there already was a purple street light and right now it's not physically purple at all like it used to be. So we know that they changed it out and they still put one there. They didn't just leave it there, no. No, they put another one there, and it's also going to turn purple. So it seems like it was intentional. You might ask why, since there are already purple streetlights north of I-35. However, if they were, were to actually have to change those because people complained about it, then there would still be one there. You see what I'm saying? I believe that it was intentional. They have not looked at the street lights that are north there. There might be some over there. Actually, yeah, that's quite possible. There's also a body of water, too, south of us, which is usually good for wind. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look at this LED panel here. Actually, there are two of them on this thing. But um, I think both of them are actually. They have purple LEDs. Oftentimes they do, both, like all of them. Even all the sub panels. Even though they're not always in the same pattern, though, either. Which is kind of weird, right? Okay. So we're going to look at this one.
which means they'd be spreading out their defect across more street lights, even though they're supposed to pay out a warranty. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why they want to lie about it. Ask yourself why they have them in other countries, too. There we go. That's where I'm at. That's the only note that I have right now on this. So now we're going to move on to this one and also another one by it. And we're also going to walk down to there. But I'm going to probably park my car here on the actual on-ramp. There. So that's where we're going next. We'll do exhibit C over there. This is at 4229. Okay, that's it. So since a lot of people like to watch these exhibit videos instead of, I'm sorry, the non-exhibit videos, instead of the actual exhibit videos that are shorter, for some reason, even though they watched this video, I should probably show you the map. So we just looked at this one here. This was exhibit B. Exhibit A was over here, right there. And that's my note that I have. That's not the last time I saw it, but I didn't I didn't update my notes. If I update my notes, it's like I'm just telling the other people about stuff instead of the other people, instead of you guys. Unless you guys are those people. <laughs> so there's a purple street light here. Um, let's see if I updated this. Oh, I didn't update the position. This is when it was at the zigzag. And then they moved the purple street light to that street light pole there. And then now the street light that's right there is starting to turn purple too and we'll look at that so i just want to make sure we got that clear so they come and they do stuff with the street lights but it's kind of gaslighting guys especially since they move the street light it's really weird to me i don't think they accidentally do it at all i think they wanted to mess around with my proof that this one was an emerging purple street light um and that it turned purple pretty quickly and also they put a street light here or they just turn it back on they probably just turn it back on it was already an LED light anyway, and it was off, and it got turned back on at the same time they did these. It's almost like they didn't want to prove that they already shut an LED light off deliberately, so that these peop these blah, so that these street lights could actually be easier um, to spot from the air. For example, if something's looking for that frequency, it wasn't as diluted. However, though, I guess there isn't there was an orange light though, so I don't know how that works out. But uh, in any case. I don't think it was accidental and they wanted to change it because I was actually proving something. I still did prove it, but um, I don't like it though when they change stuff. I think they do it on purpose. They move the street light. I mean, guys, that's kind of weird, right? Anyway, instead of changing the purple street light, they moved it. Why do you think they came out here in the first place though, guys? I think I know why. And I think I know that they did that on purpose. Just to fuck around with this. They shut the street lights off. Now they, you might ask who they are. Well, I don't know if it's the state or what. I don't know. Um, or if it's peculiar. I don't think it matters. They're all working for the same people, in my opinion. They set up the purple street lights the same kind of way. Anyway. Probably agents. Okay, we're gonna move over to this area here. I don't know for what you didn't see, but basically it doesn't matter. It's still doing the work of people are doing this all over the United States and across the world. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my vehicle over on the on-ramp here and stop, and we're gonna look at these street lights to the left. I wish I could bring both cameras, but it really isn't very feasible. So you should watch Hunting for Purple Streetlights in Kansas City, video 234, Exhibit C is in California, because that's where we're going. Okay, so I'm going to pull the ruler right here. Okay, anyway, right here.
Okay, so you've probably already seen me gesture with this camera. One ten ten. Once again, we are right here. This is I-49, and that's peculiar way. All right, now I'm going to stop this. This was Exhibit C, Hunting for Purple Streetlights in Kansas City, video 234, Exhibit C. So I think, um, I suppose we could just get the one at Cass Parkway real quick. Oh wait, there are also some other ones I kind of want to get elsewhere. Too, I think. So we'll go over to Cass Parkway first. Guys, they wouldn't just they wouldn't use purple street lights anyway. That's not what it is. Because a lot of the areas with purple street lights, they still don't ever become totally purple either, sometimes. In that they will replace them. And you might say, well, that's because it's an accident. No, it's not, because if you still look at where they are. 
is still a problem. Because it's still upwind of evacuation routes or near evacuation routes. And oftentimes it is just in the neighborhood, really close to an evacuation route, but not even on the freaking road. So it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm gonna walk over to that. I actually probably should have stopped a little earlier. So I have a little bit of a walk to do, um, but I'm gonna go get this purple street light now.
these different categories that it can look through and figure things out. One of them is probably social media and people who see social media, etc. Like if it has something to do with the vaccine, maybe it could be censored. So if it could tie it to the vaccine, maybe it could also be censored anytime you want it to. Like it would be thinking, guys, it would AI would be thinking about the different ways they could try and control the information for some other kind of crime. It would find associations, etc. If you think that you're gonna get your rights back, guys, you're not gonna get your right freedom of speech back. Eventually they will slip up. And they'll be like, well, we can't talk about this issue at all. So somehow we got to always censor it. Then later on, they'll be like, well, we've already censored that. And that's already for a legitimate reason because this other bureau or other agency uh, gave us the go ahead on it. So now we can do this other thing, which is also basically in the shadow with it because of its censorship. And then they'll do more and more things. And then they'll have like these news stories, the same terms and stuff like that, or terms that... Um, Someone finds, instead of the other thing, basically, or that could redirect a person by programming them linguistically so they look for a certain kind of word instead of other kinds of words, etc. Guys, it's not funny what they can do and what they're doing right now. You should really care a lot about it, and you should, you, you should take it as seriously as anything else that you take really seriously. Because right now, I have to look for a job, but there is no way in hell I'm going to give up on what I'm doing now after I've seen what I've seen. This is absolutely the worst time for me to have to try to find a job. I'll tell you right now, though, I don't, I don't have a lot of regrets. In fact, I already know that I was not getting the number that I should have gotten. I know what they do. I know what the distribution centers do. And I know that they don't just serve us, guys. The companies, not all companies that you see that you see like the... You know, I don't know. Any company you could think of, like grocery store, or, um, you know, retail store or whatever, and they have a distribution center. It doesn't just serve us guys. And in shortages, you got to really wonder what's going on. You got to really wonder what is what's happening and why it's okay to disadvantage people who are civilians who are trying to do their job the way that they're told to do it. And they don't lie. They don't cheat much. They just do their job. And it's supposed to be an honest job because you're moving stuff and you're supposed to be helping the supply chain and you still are disadvantaged if you're conspiracy minded. You got to really ask yourself why. Why that's okay. That's not okay, guys. It's absolutely not okay. It's absolutely okay to stand up for your rights, your work rights, and other things like that. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video. I don't know if I explain this. this is it Cass Parkway and I-49. I really want to look at the LED patterns on something. I'm trying to remember how many times I've looked at it with my new camera. I kind of want to look at it again also anyway. So we're going to go over to another location. I'm going to stop this video, though, until we get there, because there's not really need to run this. And I don't know how much I have on my SD card right now. So, um, actually, though, we didn't get another light. I'm trying to think if I want to go over there. I kind of want to go over there and check something, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop this video. Okay, there we go.